So Wolves won, Burnley nil, fantastic result and amazing to get back-to-back wins in the Premier League. Those of you who remember the last spell in the Premier League well will know that we didn't do that very often and it's the first home win in the Premier League. Great to get that off and ticked off. Um, so yeah, the game as a whole, I thought Wolves played very, very well and if you were going to ask a complete stranger which of these teams finished seventh in the Premier League and which is a newly promoted team, I think you'd almost definitely think that Wolves were the, were the team that finished seventh. We looked comfortable in possession. We controlled the game throughout the whole game today. I think in spells against West Ham and against Leicester and against Everton and Man City, we were under the cosh. But today, there wasn't a single moment when you didn't feel like Wolves were going to get the three points. That being said, there was obvious... Um, there's obvious things that need working on, which we all know, we all saw the game. Um, to have 30 attempts on goal and only seven on target is something that needs to be improved on. The general ruthlessness or lack of ruthlessness with the finishing is something that is a concern against teams that are better than us, where we will have fewer chances that we need to just make sure that they definitely get put away. Like against Manchester United next week, we we'll probably will have one or two chances and we need to make sure that we can get a goal in those games. Today we were lucky, I think, because Burnley did have that one opportunity in the second half where the ball was flashed across our goal and Jack Cork at the back post didn't quite get a foot on it to put it home. We were lucky, but we did also restrict Burnley to that sort of half chance. Um, So it's difficult to, you know, there are a lot of positives to take from today and I don't don't want to be too negative at all, but it just worries me that against teams in the future that we will not be as fortunate. as a whole, I thought uh, Costa and Jota, uh, Costa and Doherty, sorry, down that right hand side, were superb and the best that we've seen them play. And Doherty was coming for some criticism from myself as well in recent weeks. It was great to see him get that assist for the goal from Jimenez, uh, who as well was probably one of the stand-up plays in the first half. His work rate and his effort is second to none. I think he's. People have compared him to a better Bonatini. I think he's even better than that. I think um, his work rate getting back and defending and the speed at which he gets up into the attack as well uh, is tremendous and he's a real real asset to our team and I'm really pleased with the way that he started uh, at Wolves so far. Jota on the left hand side I think he needs to he needs a goal to boost that confidence and he had the perfect chance at the start of the second half through on goal and I think the Jota from last season would have dinked it over the keeper or certainly scored. It was annoying and frustrating at that moment that he didn't do that and I watched him for a couple of moments after that and he was really distraught and upset with himself it's important that he does get that goal but I think Nuno will be looking now and Traore as well will not be happy to be sitting there taking 20 minutes of every game he wants to be playing more and I think if you were going to drop somebody from that front three I think Jota's probably the most likely to miss out let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about that we saw Martino and Neves as well control the game perfectly in midfield we, we are looking like a team who would I predicted at the beginning of the season that we'd finish eighth we're ninth at the moment one point behind teams like Man United and Arsenal and Spurs which is unbelievable really considering the the starts that some of the uh, that Spurs had in particular but we've been consistent in those the games that we've played and we've built on each performance and we've got better every time and now this run of fixtures after Manchester United, we've got Southampton and Watford. They're two ga- and Palace. They're three games where we should really. That's the test of where we're going to finish. If we can get, I can't see any reason why we couldn't pick up nine points from those three games. The way that we've been playing and the way that we control games is just about being clinical because we will concede goals, but we need to be able to score more than the opposition and. Uh, at the moment, it's okay. Two clean sheets in a row, two wins in a row, it's very, very good. And you know, looking at the table at this point in the season, to be so high up the league for a Wolves fan in the Premier League, that's what we that's what we wanted for many, many years. So let's hope that it continues. Um, I'm feeling very, very good about the Wolves at the moment. There's nothing really negative to say. I mean, to create 30 chances in a game is absolutely you know unbelievable considering where we were two years ago and let's just take a step back for a second and think about that and those games against Wigan and um, you know Blackburn where we just couldn't break teams town down we couldn't make things happen and now we're doing it against the team who finished seventh in the Premier League last year so that's something to really grab hold of and and to keep this momentum going because we're, we're doing very very well and I'm very very happy about it 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about today's game. Drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're a Burnley fan, I think things are looking a little bit bleak for you at the moment. I wasn't impressed at all. And I think that you're staring down the barrel a little bit. I think there's a relegation battle at Turf Moor this season. Thank you for watching. I'll see you after. Bye-bye.